trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise and that is I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38 verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Finally, two of them have received. And this is our prayer tonight. That all those who have been in this category wishing and waiting and hoping and wondering there are many powerful men of god who may never rise because all they do is just amen amen and yet do not understand there are many visionary listen now i'm going to say this i say this to the glory of god but he knows i'm so fond of him my dear friend and brother pastor nat there is almost no time that you come and talk with him and you see that either he's written a new song or he's done something he's doing a new work don't say God is just lifting him a word came for everybody but the one who took that word to the studio and took that word training with his team day and night that is the one that the power of God moved over are you getting what I'm saying now every man of God receive fire amen somebody will receive it and go and say father thank you for this fire I dedicate myself to three or five hours of study and of prayer and of consecration. While you are doing that, the power of God begins to gravitate towards you. Another person listens and says, okay, fine, I've gotten it. Thank I know that man of God is not fake. Jesus was not fake, but he still did not get some things done. Hallelujah. When I listen to a man of God, I'm not just listening to him declare what God has said. Most times what he's saying you may have heard before. The real miracle in that sermon is finding the missing link. Why is the word of God not working for me? Aha. This is it. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. And we'll wrap up. Gentlemen, I pray for you. God will honor you. In the name of Jesus. The same way you have received this, it's not just money you received. May God grant you favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, wealth will meet wealth in your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. Joshua 1 and verse 8. Hmm. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Many of you have done that first part. Congratulations for being diligent to meditate. But it does not stop there. That thou mayest observe to do according. Not to do the way you want. To do according. Listen. If God says, honor your father and your mother and your days may be long. If you want to use money as honor, and you remove money and give our father here, you count it as if you are bribing him. 200 naira. Daddy, God bless you. That is donation, not honor. <laughs> Just because you gave money does not mean the blessings will come. Somebody who is thoughtful, you put it in an envelope, you go and say, Daddy, they gave the same thing, but the conditions. Remember, conditions. While the chef is in the kitchen making, we're back to our making again. There is fire under 
creating the condition for the boiling to happen for the frying to happen you don't see the fire under you may just see the pot and you see things walking every time you see things walking check down there is another dimension that is creating conditions from the start of that cooking till it finishes. in most case you will see fire so you are looking at a life excelling all you are seeing is the food check well there are practices of obedience covenants of consecration and many things that are being done you can mix the same thing but if there is no agency that creates the condition so you can buy a trumpet too like God's servant and blow it and you'll be surprised how people say you are disturbing us <laughs> this is not a place for boys brigade and you say what is the meaning of this and yet someone else is blowing that shofar if you think the power is in the trumpet you have missed it remember as the food is happening there is something women you understand this yes when you see a woman gets pregnant the first thing that happens to the woman is her pregnancy begins to bring her into a condition that makes it favorable for the baby is that true there are some the determination to create that condition can even necessitate a bed rest for as much as nine months you don't see the woman out again and you say where is this woman we've not been seeing her there is something she's carrying it's not about the womb it's about the condition the seed is already there but the seed can die what do you call barrenness barrenness is not necessarily the absence of the seed the inability for the reproductory conditions to allow fertilization and conception biology am i right yes, so you can be receiving the seed of the word of god and you have refused to allow your life create that condition for some of you the condition is sin for some of you the condition is the flesh that you have been creating that has been fighting the word of God for some of you the condition is pride for some of you the condition is an I do no mentality what else can God show me aha not knowing that even in heaven you can come up hither for some of you the condition you have been creating is dishonor when a man of God is speaking, you are checking his English, checking his clothes, and saying, oh, no, this, this guy should not be speaking to me. Not knowing that if it's God that has commanded it, even a fish can carry coin. You can be looking for coins, and fishes are jumping out of the water. And you say, no, coins, come, I'm, I'm an intelligent person. I understand mining. I need to know where gold is. And God says, I can put fish everywhere. Please hear me. I'm about to pray. By the privilege of God's grace, I have seen miracles in my life. And I say this to the glory of God. I have seen the power of God move. I have seen God do unimaginable things. Behind the mighty things that you see is a very small man with a sincere faith that doggedly obeys. If it be thou, bid me come. He didn't say, Peter, come. He said, come. Anybody who obeyed would have walked on water. If he said, Peter, come, we'll say you are biased. If it be thou, bid me come. He said, Peter, mm -mm, come. And Peter took the step. Do you know the risk? That was not a little lake that children were playing in. And when he puts his feet, I'm sure other people, Thomas was saying, you must be stupid. You, be, you are wasting the wisdom of your adulthood. And he took that step and he began to walk. The same way God is going to be speaking to someone to lay your hands where that sickness is. And once he's saying that what you studied in the university will be saying, listen, don't be a fool. You graduated with first class. Remember, and the simplicity of the gospel. For somebody who just lay their hands, and right there that will be the end of it i have seen god tell me to obey foolish instructions 
and in those instructions came power and defining moments in my life why do you tell an army that has been trained to walk around seven times over a city that was shot nothing could go in and nothing could come out and yet he said the strategy keep your swords walk around day one I could see the elder saying, this Joshua, this one that Moses has died, I hope this small boy is not making a fool of us. Let's just obey while we watch. Remember, it's seven days of glory. By the second day, walk around. And he got to a point where he said, listen, in addition to this labor, I've gotten another instruction. You thought you would say, I've gotten another miracle. I've gotten the last one. That on the seventh day, you will walk around the labor of the seven, seven again. And then, the moment that happens, where are the trumpeters? You will sound it. He said, trumpet for a gate, a fence that the Bible says seven chariots could stand on. Even if you collapse it, it's still another fence. You fight a fence with a trumpet. Didn't you go to school? But the Bible says, when that happened, I, I could imagine the formation of the armies in heaven. Remember what we discussed. All you see is not all there is. The invisible realm. I could imagine angels standing. And these weak men where they didn't know the power of the word of God. Their obedience were about to reveal that. And when they shouted, Tehillah. The Bible says the wall fell down. The walls fell down. Worry, believers, every wall can fall down if the conditions. Don't let Jericho intimidate you. Don't let Goliath intimidate you. Don't let Dagon intimidate you. They all fell down. Whether it is Dagon, whether it is Goliath, whether it is Jericho, even if it is Herod, they all fell down. The things that are written aforetime, the Bible says, they are for our learning. So that we, through the comfort and the patience of scripture, might find hope. This whole sermon tonight is the journey of my life. Of simple obedience to a great God. Maybe not from the background. Maybe not from any human qualification. If it were by the normal sequence of life, some of us would be nowhere near the queue. But in the foolishness of obedience, take this step. Yes, sir. It is a risk. Yes, sir. I'd rather die with you in shame than to stand in my ego and not make progress. If it is you, I believe. How do you save the world by hanging on a tree? Do you save the world by hanging on a tree or killing Satan? Which one is more logical? The guy who caused the trouble, just kill him so that the other, all the other sinners can die. Then the ones that are left, the babies that are born, will now be righteous. That would have been my strategy. If I were God, I would first kill Satan. Is that not how you quarantine terrorists? You carry the main troublemaker. And yet God came with another strategy. Jesus, even though you are the word, you will have to obey the condition that releases the power of God. Not even Jesus was exempted. So he carried the cross. The word looked weak. But his obedience was where the power of the gospel is. And when he hung upon that cross, with blood dripping out of him, and naysayers were there, Physician, heal thyself. And he hung there. In that foolishness of obedience is the power of the cross. Today we sing, up from the grave he arose. With the mighty triumph o'er his foes. He arose the victor from the dark domain. And he lives forever with his saints to reign. Worry. I bring you glad tidings that the word can become flesh. The word can become a job. The word can become pregnancy. 
the word can become an estate the word can become your restoration the word can become anointing the word can become your victory the word can become your redemption but not under any condition there is a condition every time you study your bible find out the condition the condition for salvation is that without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin if jesus explained sang praise and worship will still not be saved but he hung upon that tree you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign forever and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and i am yours forever and ever i will love you you are the only one who died for me gave your life to set me free so I lift my voice to you Listen to me. You are one obedience away from releasing the supernatural to your life. Some of you here probably are businessmen and in the midst of the recession you've heard that when men say there is a casting down don't just quote it what is the condition no evil will come near me a thousand shall fall by my right you are not complete find out he that dwells in the secret place of the most high that is the condition he is the one who shall abide under the shadow of the almighty and then in that condition i will now say are we together? Oh, no enemy can be able to. God will bring deliverance for me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You are my hiding place. Is that true? That you always fill me with songs of deliverance. So God delivers, but how? Sometimes you can wake up in the morning and you sense that there is an attack. And one song will come. That's not a special number that song there is a song of deliverance have you listen have you had periods in your life where no other song may seem to make sense you will be singing it can be one line of the song you keep singing it until that release comes that is the condition for releasing the power of god over that situation for someone you wake up and you just sense I'm hearing that all my children are sick. I'm hearing that everything is happening. And then the Spirit of God speaks to you and says, lock yourself and dance for one hour. Lord, dance the condition to release the word. Every time you are in disobedience, remember my example. The integrity of God is waiting with your promise, but waiting for your obedience. So the Bible says it this way having the readiness to judge every obedience every disobedience when your obedience is entire or complete hallelujah my time is up i'm going to pray there are two things we are going to do here very quickly the first thing we are going to do is to make an altar call the second thing we are going to do is to pray the third thing we're going to do is that I speak over your life I want you to believe that listen to me I believe in Jesus with all my heart not because I'm a preacher I found out among many things that he's more than just a savior he is the Word of God before he was Savior he was Word. his ministry as the Word is older than his ministry as the Savior are we together 
you come from Africa remember respect that the word of God it was not savior that created the heavens and the earth it was the word so even though his ministry as savior has been complete as far as redemption is concerned he's still seated where he was again he's still the word and he showed me the rider upon the white horse the bible says he had a writing that was written is that true that on his tie was written the word of god there are people here i saw so many overflows from from the screens there are several there are about 12 or so i'm told there's there's an overflow outside here that i'm seeing right now projected there are several other overflows can you imagine when they show you wave your hands where you are let the devil see that you are here all the overflows as they keep showing us those overflows look at this i don't know this is this is another one wave your hands we are seeing you right where you are look at there's another one there look at what is happening my god there's still more again now hear me my god i thought we were done look at this it means we are soon going to go to the stadium one of these days now hear me wherever you are under the sound of my voice listen to me here's what the bible says for god so loved the world he gave that word that same word that makes all things the word came as savior and died for you there are many people who have not satisfied the condition for the life of god you see eternal life is real the life of god is real but you can be like that our brother just stand in church and say god saves and still go to hell or you can be like the one who took that step the prodigal son said how many hired servants as my father the condition to enjoy the prosperity of his father was that he would stay under the covering and the grace but he wanted independence with independence came lack with independence came degradation until he began to feed with the swine but hallelujah there was an opportunity for repentance but that repentance started the bible never said the holy ghost spoke to him he said he came to himself and said how many hired servants does my father have and they have enough bread to eat and i'm here i perish with the swine he said i will arise that's where it starts from i will arise and go to my father and say unto him father i have sinned against heaven and against thee i am not worthy to be called your son he said take me as one of your hired servants the bible says as he got up and started moving his father too started moving they met somewhere he never met him at the point of his mess and yet he didn't father did not even allow him to reach home god will always meet you somewhere at the point of your obedience these signs shall follow what does it mean to follow you go ahead as a sign of faith the signs never go before you the signs never go with you it is the lord that works with you but the signs follow follow means after your step listen bible history will tell us that as moses commanded the people to go forward through dry ground it wasn't that the river parted then they started moving no someone had to take that step of faith as soon as their feet got there for someone after this meeting you may you may obtain grace go and register the company don't wait and say where is the money coming from the signs follow you sit down there and keep grumbling you may remain poor forever you can go and register that company are we together now we're about to pray but let me start with the altar call. I saw several overflows and I assure you by God that in every overflow, including this auditorium, and then our family watching from across the globe, Jesus is speaking to someone. Salvation is real, but there is a condition. What is the condition? 
the Bible says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in your mouth that the word of faith that we preach that if thou shalt confess with your mouth the lordship of Jesus and believe in your hearts that God raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the mouth man uh, the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation you don't assume salvation hallelujah like our father would do i'm going to give someone tonight a chance for jesus you are saying apostle while i heard you speak the holy spirit began to tell me no wonder the powers of witchcraft seem to still prevail over you no wonder failure seems to repeat itself endlessly in your life could it be that ultimately you are looking for a temporal solution counseling some kind of advice and succor whereas the permanent solution is to be translated from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of his dear son tonight is your chance and there are two groups of people in one that i will be calling those who are saying i have never met jesus but now i know he's my savior and is the word of God please give me a chance and let me come category one number two there are those who are saying apostle my life is like the prodigal son you just recited my life I remember I was once in the fold but for some reason I deviated and I've lived my life my life has gone haywire can there be hope for me let's go to the Bible that there is hope for a tree even if it be cut short he said at the scent of water it is the assignment of the tree to stay at the place of water i'm going to count one to five and as i begin to count one to five from this place i want you to run let's fill up this place if this place is full then wherever you are you can stand there as i lead you to pray i'm going to count one to five as we appreciate them please you sing for me that song jesus the son of god are you ready one Someone celebrating salvation. I believe you. I believe Come to Jesus. You. Oh, sing it to Jesus. Jesus. Leave your seat and come to Jesus. He gives you an opportunity for a new life. The word of God is powerful, that is able to save to the uttermost. But the condition is that you must be ready to Sing receive of to his Jesus. life Jesus. keep clapping let's the celebrate them as they come I all the overflows you can walk to the front of your screen and just stand there as a sign of surrender If you are coming out, please come quickly. Those are the overflows. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Leave your seat and walk right to the stage. Jesus is watching. Sing it to Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God. listen carefully it is a wonderful thing to come to Jesus 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 how I trust you how I proved you are Jesus Jesus precious Jesus oh for grace to trust him now all of you who came out and for those who are following you are following from by way of television or internet from any part of the globe here is your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you are connecting watching from all across the globe here is your chance to make it right with Jesus please I'd like you to lift your right hand those of you who are in front everyone who has signified indicated lift your right hand high above your head 
and I want you to say this after me loud and clear you are saying it unto Jesus hallelujah are you ready say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word that your word is yea and amen I have come as a sign of love of surrender and obedience I receive forgiveness of sin I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that from tonight you are my savior you are my lord you are my king I declare that the power of sin of Satan of hell and of the grave is broken over my life from tonight I am a child of God help them please help those under the anointing In the name of Jesus the Bible says the gospel is the power of God unto salvation help them please and backward never in Jesus name keep your hands lifted let me pray for you father the Bible declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away these ones have come in total surrender let this be the beginning of a new season for them based on the authority of scripture I declare your sins forgiven and in the name of Jesus I call you recipients of the life of God the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in Jesus name I pray amen. amen now here's what I want you to do for me very quickly there are counselors behind directly behind for those of you who are in front may I please request that all of you move in concert just follow the counselors they will have a word with you very quickly and you come back to your seat let's celebrate them as they go all the overflows please do as directed please do as directed hallelujah Please lend me five more minutes and we're done. Like a symphony, all in harmony, we will raise you a sound. Please stand on your feet, we're about to pray. It's a song of love, no one. I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray lord i am tired of this realm shift me to the realm where my results become extraordinary and supernatural go ahead and pray go ahead everyone please go ahead and pray everyone someone is praying man of god pray family people pray business people pray everyone pray 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 let it be from the depth of your heart lord i resign from natural living the natural sequence of things i soar with wings as the eagles Someone is about to contact 
the supernatural. The word is becoming flesh. Becoming flesh in your finances. Becoming flesh over your health. Becoming health over your spiritual life. Someone is praying. I see today supernaturally I will see them no more forever please open your mouth and begin to declare every mountain every dagger every Goliath every herald mocking the name of the Lord concerning my life in the name of Jesus be ye lifted up Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabranda ke balako shile brabi. Harekhe te balaka shabranda ke de balako. Mata praska ke na ke de paru sosia da balada balada. Every Egyptian in the name of Jesus, you will drown in the Red Sea. It is my season of liberty, supernatural exploit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please listen. Please I want you to listen. I want you to listen. I want you to listen. My time is up. But I just felt stirred in my heart to just speak over sick people. You see, I believe in the healing power of Jesus. I am a testament of his healing power. 
we may not have the time to take testimonies tonight because of our time but in subsequent sessions you can have the liberty to announce but here's what I would do I was so happy when I saw Pastor Nat here there is this grace that God has given this man of God even with this chauffeur I want you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for you can stand for your children your loved ones remember the centurion he stood in for his son he said I would not need to come you, you don't have to come speak the word only lay your hands when you lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest hallelujah the name of Jesus I'm going to play with Pastor Nat he's going to blow this shofar ah. and from the realm of the spirit that invisible power of the highest Mary said how shall these things be you are asking apostle is it really true that I can be healed of this blood condition I want to speak over your body and then I'll now declare generally please don't let the devil deceive you to say how shall these things be now that you have believed the word the power of the highest is ready to overshadow you yes sir I'd like you to be sensitive just help those under the anointing while he's blowing this chauffeur As I was commanded and he said there was a sound there is about to be that sound 
over someone's destiny please hear me if it is the supernatural all things were made by him something is about to be made in your life now please hear me as I speak and I declare still in this atmosphere I want you to receive remember blessed is she that believes for some of you as you are receiving this word that before you get home the power of God that defines time and distance would have already been creating things in your life are you ready to receive I stand upon the grace of our father and in the name of Jesus anyone here who has the proverb Ichabod written on your destiny that it is only shame and reproach right now in the name of Jesus Christ I declare may your glory begin to shine forth may the glory of your destiny begin to shine forth in the name of Jesus hear me remember ye not the former thing nor consider the things of old he said for behold I'm already doing a new thing but behold I decree and declare for someone the first six year, months of this year has been tragedy and pain but let me prophesy over the next six in the name of Jesus you will see the salvation of God you will see the salvation of God hallelujah let me prophesy Genesis 21 verse 1 over an, a woman here or a family that has been trusting God for the fruit of the womb the Spirit of God is speaking to me please help those under the anointing that you have been waiting and waiting how shall these things be seeing that my womb is not working seeing that the doctor said I have this and that he said Genesis chapter 21 verse 1 let this be the prophetic word for you and the Lord visited Sarah as he had said and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken verse 2 the Bible says verse 2 for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son even in old age at the set time which the mouth of the Lord has spoken I speak to everyone here trusting God for the fruit of the womb by this time, seven days of glory 2023, you will return with children. You will return with children. Please help them. You will return us. Help them, please. You will return with children. Hallelujah. And he carried me in the spirit of the Lord, and he took me to a valley and lo he says they were very dry and he says son of man can that business live again son of man can that marriage live again son of man can that man to return to you like samson i prophesy to someone in the name of jesus the son of the living god oh ye dry bones financial dry bones marital dry bones in the name of Jesus let life enter you now every dry situation receive life in the name of Jesus hallelujah there was a man who was born normal but because of the carelessness of the midwives they did not handle him well and because of that he had a situation that made him incapacitated his name was Mephibosheth the Bible says one time David made a statement and said is there anyone in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake I'm about to call your destiny helpers and the Bible says that Ziba had 15 sons and yet none of the sons of Ziba was favored. He said he should go to Laodeba 
and there they fetched Mephibosheth and he came he said you will sit and dine with me for the rest of your life where are the helpers of your destiny in the name of Jesus I call upon Ebenezer the one who helps men that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God between now and the end of this conference I command them to appear to appear helpers of destiny appear in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please help those under the anointing let me pray for every man of God here you have been frustrated in ministry you love Jesus walking in righteousness but it looks like it is not working I pray that God who helps men in the name of Jesus may he visit you every dying business here come back to life every parent here having an issue with your child maybe your child is going wayward you have prayed by the power that raised Christ from the dead the power that turned Saul to Paul may your child be turned into a mighty man of God hallelujah and finally let me pray for you and the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death hear me it is a terrible thing to labor and invest and gather and then death comes to sweep you you see what is happening to people around that someone gets up in the morning my head my head and he just dies that death itself is supernatural it's just like it's a demonic one because that is not normal headache if there is anyone here the mark of death is on you while you are alive i stand by the blood of the eternal covenant i cancel it right now I cancel it right now. I cancel it right now. I cancel it right now. By reason of this encounter tonight, may your life begin to command extraordinary results. Supernatural results. In the name of Jesus Christ. The God of heaven is turning your life around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. Have you been blessed at all tonight? Please let's stretch forth our hands towards the man of God and pray for him. That fresh unction and fresh anointing be released upon him. That God will take him to the realm of the supernatural. In his ministry, he will continue to do exploits. And he will go from glory to glory. So shall it be. Because God has used him to water us tonight. God himself will water him afresh. He shall be well with him all the days of his life. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now quickly package a worthy offering unto the Lord. And lift up your offering. Just speak to it. And ask that the Lord will accept you and accept your offering. Use it as a point of contact to put a seal of permanence on the blessings you have re received tonight. Thank you, everlasting Father. Father, behold the offerings of your children. Accept us and accept our offerings. Bless every giver in return. And use this as a point of contact to take us to the realm of the supernatural. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, Pastor Nat will be ministering. And immediately, even after we close, there's a song that the man of God raised while he was ministering. We'll be taking that song even after we have shared the grace. It's a prophetic song. song and uh, 
the Lord will bring to pass what he has promised for every one of us in the name of Jesus okay we'll sing the same song as apostles sang it I felt all just broke out in this place and I know when I hear a spiritual song so we we'll sing this song and when we close we stay back five minutes and we'll just declare this song I hope this Yahweh sing Yahweh Jesus Christ. Now, the Lord always prepares the best to the last. So just like Pastor Nathaniel said, after we've shared the grace, we'll have another five minutes of worshiping and celebrating God for what he has done and what he will yet do. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen news from my father in the Lord every one of you must have your PVC that's the news from daddy daddy Gio every one of you must have your what must have your what we have heard the word tonight it's not enough to pray you must take action God bless you Somebody give him a shout of praise. Yeah. Where are the worshippers? Where are the worshippers? I want some special worshippers. Say.
dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. 